Fujifilm X-T4 Camera Review The Fujifilm X-T4 uses the Sing 26 x Trans BSI CMOS sensor as the Fujifilm X-T3, as well as the same image processor. The electronic viewfinder is the same, with 3.69 million dots and 0.75x magnification. However, there is a new eye cup surround, and there are additional boost options to give quicker refresh rates. The X-T4 is designed for stills and video photography with updates that benefit both. There's a weather-sealed camera body, and a new photo or video switch can be found on top of the camera. You'll also find that high-speed video recording has been updated, with the camera able to record full HD video at 240 fps. There's a new vertical battery grip accessory, BGX54, which houses two batteries, giving a total of three batteries. There's a new USB-C dual battery charger accessory, the BCW235 available, that has a USB connection on it. When used with 30W Plus chargers, it gives the quickest charging time. Without the optional USB charger, batteries are charged in camera with the provided USB wall charger. Charging takes three hours charging via the wall charger, whilst charging is much slower using a computer as the power source. The Fujifilm X-T4 is only slightly larger than the X-T3, but you can tell when you have the camera in your hand and the camera can now accommodate a larger battery. We're a fan of anything that extends the battery life of a camera, and the X-T4 can shoot 500 shots on normal performance mode, or 600 shots with economy mode switched on. If you need extended battery life, you can add two additional batteries with the optional battery grip, giving up to 1,450 shots. The camera feels very well built, thanks to a solid magnesium alloy construction and ample weather sealing. Dials are reassuringly solid and feel good to use. The locking dials can be simply unlocked by pressing the button in the middle of the dial so that it pops up. And to lock the dial again, just pushing the button. The X-T4 gives direct access to the ISO and shutter speeds. And with an XF lens, you can also adjust the aperture using the aperture ring on the lens. If you want to set these to auto, then you can simply put them on the setting on the dials. Although care needs to be taken to double check these settings when you've just started using the camera as it's easy to leave the camera on the wrong setting. To switch between stills photography and video, there is a switch under the shutter speed dial, and this also switches over the menus, which are specific for each mode. The Q menus have also been updated, so that there are specific Q menus for both stills and video photography. With the new menus, the camera makes it easier to find specific settings, and you don't have to scroll to the bottom of the drive mode or turn the drive mode dial to the video position to get to the video mode. There's also the usual My Menu section where you can add your favorite settings for quicker access. The optional battery grip features a headphone socket built in and is also weather sealed. Connections on the side of the camera include a 3.5 microphone socket, remote release, HDMI, USB Type-C and a headphone adapter is included in the box. The optional battery grip includes a 3.5mm headphone jack. The electronic viewfinder has the same resolution at 3.69 million dots and magnification as the X-T3. However, the eye cup has been updated and can be locked into place. The view through the viewfinder is excellent with plenty of detail and excellent color reproduction. There is diopter correction, useful for glasswearers or those with less than perfect eyesight.